figured out the economics of upstairs. That was always a problem, is, you know, a little building, uh, you had to have a fire exit, what, what did you get for an apartment? But now with this new uh, business of Airbnb or whatever you want to call it, it makes the upstairs work. Could short-term rentals be the key to turning around Canal Street? Good evening, I'm Karen Swenson. And I'm Natalie Shepard. City leaders and local developers believe short-term rentals going into vacant upper floors could be the key to breathing new life into Canal. Yeah, Danny Monteverdi spoke with those who are cautiously optimistic after so many years of broken promises about a rebirth on the street. This is a sales book for the first day. They made 47 cents. David Rubenstein and his family have seen the highs and lows of Canal Street during almost a century in business. Now, after decades of decline, he's optimistic that Canal Street has begun a comeback, albeit a slow one. Sometimes you got to wait 20 years, sometimes you got to wait 40 years, but there are certain things you look at a location, and, you know, if it's good, it'll come back. About to come back is this building at 1016 Canal. It burned in a fire nearly three years ago. But now work will begin to transform it into a mix of commercial short-term rentals on the top floors and commercial space on the bottom. Plans call for doing the same at 623 Canal and the Sandlin Building. A group called Sonder will lease the upper floors and fill them with a total of 200 commercial short-term rental units. All three buildings are owned by Quarter Holdings LLC, operated by the Matwani family. For years, a number of their buildings have been fined and cited for code violation. Aaron Matwani says tough times on Canal in recent decades are partly to blame. Canal Street's been a hard place to attract retail. It's been a hard place to attract uh, residents. And uh, now with, uh, like I mentioned earlier, with our deal with Sonder, it allows us to uh, develop the upper floors. City leaders hope housing on the upper floors will attract people and their money. Council President Jason Williams envisions a Canal Street with big names. Street and Apple Store trying to get Canal Street a restoration hardware, a pottery barn, uh, a, a crate and barrel. For all the optimism about the future of Canal Street, there are some business owners who still see major problems in the way. Crime and blight, for example, and those are some things that could take years to fix. But for those like David Rubenstein... This here, Leonard Crow, is the building on the corner that's going to become uh, Airbnb, and it's great to see things like that come back. It's all pointing in the right direction. Danny Monteverdi, Eyewitness News. The work on all three buildings is expected to cost $10 million. The City Hall says since the fire at 1016 Canal back in 2016, the Motwanis have had to pay more than $3,500 in fines and court fees.